Welcome back to the Roma career mode. I am looking at some more options. As you know, in the last episode, we tried a few loan deals. I think the players were just a little bit too high rated, a little bit too good to try and get on a loan with a, a loan to buy being the, the goal here. I kind of want to get a player that's on loan for a season because I don't have massive amounts of money left and then buy them next season for a really good price. The hope is, for example, I'm looking at Damsgaard here. A lot of comments coming in on the Discord on the video itself looking for me to look at Damsgaard. Um, I could potentially, let's say, sign him for 30 million next season, or I can do a loan to buy now and maybe agree to pay 18 million, 20 million. So we're getting a cut price deal because we're doing it a year ahead of all of that growth. That's the idea here. So I think Damsgaard is a really good option. I think we should just straight away go in for it and see if we can make it happen. I mean, there's no way he's as high rated as Pardo. I don't think Klozek is going to be done yet. Maybe in January. I don't know. He's, he's, he's kind of the signing I want to make because of, well, I guess it's kind of selfish reasons, but I want to use him. I, I just haven't used him in this FIFA and he's an absolute monster. So um, I think we'll leave that for now and we'll try and get Damsgaard instead. We are... Oh, God, his value's 33. Um, we are scouting him, so I don't know his stats. But if he's worth 33 million, then um, he's a little bit higher rated than I expected. But he's 21. He's an exciting prospect. Would they potentially be interested in a loan? Okay. I think because we've got the transfer negotiations on loose, it makes it a lot easier to get loan deals done. The question is, would they be willing to... Let me sign him with a loan to buy. I don't think so. Let's see what happens here. No. Okay. Maybe we do just go for a loan deal here. I mean, I've got 22 million. It's, it's not unlikely that I could come up with a little bit of extra cash by the end of this window and actually sign him. Okay, we're going to leave it for now. Once again, I'm backing out of a loan deal because I don't really want to... Just loan a player, but he does look good, doesn't he? And he has got links with Roma. I believe somewhere it was said that if he was to leave Sampdoria, is it? That he would only go to Roma, I think, or, or something along those lines. Anyway, we've made two signings so far. We brought in a new centre-back, Inacio. Love the guy already. And we also brought in Maitland-Niles. I know some people are a bit like, eh, not the most exciting signing, but... Uh, as an Arsenal fan, of course, I always want to try and get an Arsenal player if I can. I didn't really use him much in the Arsenal career mode. So although he's not starting every game, he will get good game time here at Roma. Let's do a little bit more training. We've got past a goal to do here. I think I've probably got five drills that I haven't done yet. Every now and again, they just pop up out of nowhere. You're like, oh, I haven't done this one yet. So let me just get these done. Again, I'm just I'm not going to show you them all because they're incredibly boring. That is another A. Very, very easy. One of the players I used there was Shemuradov. And apparently you guys really want me to give him a go. I've heard great things. So I think what might happen eventually is with this three at the back formation, which is what Roma have been using with uh, Mourinho, they tend to go with two strikers from what I can tell. The last five games as I'm recording this, which I think comes out tomorrow in real life, They've been using two up top. Often it's Abraham and Perez or Abraham and Zaniolo or Abraham and Shamorodov. So I want to give them a go as a duo up top. Uh, as you can see here, I was taking a look at Wrench. I decided not to go with him. Is that how you say his name? I've got no idea. But Damsgaard is 77 rated. Okay, so we're not going with Dench, uh, Wrench. <laughs> Dench. <laughs> we're not going with Wrench. We're not going with Logic yet. We're probably not going to be able to get Pardo. It's just too expensive. And obviously, we didn't go with Marcel either. Marcel, Marcel. I think Damsgaard is actually a very exciting prospect to bring into the squad. We've got a transfer offer here for Calafiori, a young player that I do not want to let go of. So we're going to go ahead and, well, actually, I guess we'll block those offers coming in. Not interested in selling him. He's kind of my backup to Vina, Vinya, however you say his name, and uh, Spinazzola on that left side. So do I try two up top for this next game? I think it's against Genoa. I think I do. I want to give maybe Zaniolo a go up front with Abraham, and that could be my two up top. And also Shamorodov. I haven't used him yet, 
and I would like to. There is some more training drills done. And by the way, I know yesterday's episode was a little bit shorter than usual. I didn't even realize. I went to edit and I realized I played maybe one less game than usual than I should have. So apologies for that. I'll make this video a little bit longer. Uh, we've got an offer coming in for Vinya. It's a good offer, but uh, he is the main backup to Spinozola. So we're not going to sell him. And now it's time for the game against Genoa. Of course, we started off with a draw. Not ideal, but we go into this second game. It's it's not awful. We've got one point from one game. We're 10th place. 88 manager rating. Should be fine. So I guess this would be the formation, a 3-5-2. Although every time I've looked at their lineups, they seem to play with a flat five, uh, which I'm not going to do. I think I'd rather have Mkhitaryan in a slightly advanced cam roll. So... Abraham Zaniolo with Mkhitaryan in behind. Veritu, Pellegrini as the two DMs. Inacio, Mancini, Ibanez. And then, of course, Karsdorp and Spinozola as the left and right wing backs. Um, let me put Shamorodov on the bench instead of Mayoral. And I've seen Cristante gets a lot of game time. So I guess we should definitely give him more of an opportunity. Uh, Perez as well. I'd like to see how good he is. But this is the team. The first home game. The Stadio Olimpico. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? That's what I renamed it to. Yeah, Stadio Olimpico. It's a massive, massive stadium in real life. And I tell you what, this is just one of the generic stadiums. And it looks pretty much bang on. And I think it's a shared stadium with Lazio, isn't it? So, such a shame the licensing means they couldn't have it in the game like they used to. Oh, thank you very much. I remember the, the last time we did a Roma career mode. I loved the home stadium. So... At least this looks very, very similar. And I'm offside already. Nicely done, Spinozola. It's weird that he's right-footed. I'm so used to having a left-footed player there. I'm going to pass this back to Spinozola. Into Zaniolo. He's going to have to hit it with his right foot. And he's totally not very good with his right foot. We want it on his left there. But honestly, I think the two up top might work well with the players I've got. At least I can be versatile. I can do a bit of both. Not much going on at the moment. I guess I still need to get used to all this. Brand new team. And it is weird playing on PC. I'm going to hit this. Pellegrini! Oh, dear. Blocked. <laughs> you guys know in the Arsenal career mode, forever, every game. Block, 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 block. No, don't let him shoot. Nice, Pellegrini. Haven't got it, though. Oh, really? No way. What a save. What a save. Oh, Mancini. Absolute boss. Here goes Mkhitaryan now. Onto the right side. We need a little one-two maybe to get him forward. This is good. Abraham, why are you running towards me? Go away. No way. What a stupid run from Abraham. Why is he coming towards me there? Make a run on the inside. I might have been able to get a chance. Into added time here and it's going to be a corner. Get that one out. Oh, God. Why? Why am I heading that straight back into the box? It's completely weird without the uh, the ball marker. Obviously, I've got a mod that makes that disappear, so I don't know where the ball is landing. It can be a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. You don't realize how much it actually helps you until it's gone. Like there. I didn't actually know that was coming into the box. I might have to re-enable that. It's making things a little bit more tricky. But that is half-time, no goals. Finally, Tammy Abraham's going to get some of the ball. Haven't really been able to get it to him at all in this game. Zaniolo to Mkhitaryan. I can't get the pass over to Veritu. And I've lost it in midfield as well. This has really not been a very impressive performance. I don't know how I'm going to beat the likes of Inter Milan, AC Milan, Napoli... And even Juventus, I know they're struggling this season in real life, but they're going to be so tough to play against. Give that to Zaniolo. Oh, is he going to keep it in? No. Spinozola's on the inside. It's going to Zaniolo. Oh, no way. It's okay. Still alive. Pellegrini. Back to Pellegrini again. Oh, hello. Club captain scores our first home goal of the series. And it's a beauty. What a fantastic finish that is. Let's have a look. I need a better angle. Picks it up. Little one-two. I didn't really need to do the one-two. 
But the ball is going to go through his standing foot here, isn't it? Classic FIFA goal. Just <laughs> goes through his ankle. I don't care, though. Like I said, it's our first home goal of the season. And now I think we do make a change. I want to put Pellegrini at Cam. Mkhitaryan is not having an effect on the game at all. I'm going to put Cristante in there. I think Maitland-Niles can come on and do a job for us on that right side. And then Zaniolo for Shamoradov. Let's give him a go. The Uzbekistanian, is that, is that the right term? Uzbekistanian? Look at Mancini coming forward like a boss. Here is Shamoradov. Over to Pellegrini. Go on, on his right foot. Oh, it's not bad. Is Shamoradov right-footed? I need to double-check this. I've never used him before. He is right-footed, but he does have a four-star weak foot, so wouldn't be the end of the world if I needed to have a shot with his left. We are playing so much better now. Here is Spinozola. Into the middle for Shamoradov on his left foot. Wow. That wasn't bad at all. Pellegrini, probably man of the match at the moment. To Shamoradov. Into Tammy. Oh, I've got nowhere to go. I'm going to play that across. Get Maitland-Niles in behind maybe. Nope, he's just going to stand there. Okay, cool. Here we go. I really want to have a shot with Tammy. I'm going to do the right thing though. Hit it with Pellegrini. And he scores again. It's a very, very similar goal. And that is going to get us the three points here against Genoa. And we will be unbeaten after two games. <laughs> get in there. He looks good though, Pellegrini. He really does. And sorry if I skip replays, but for some reason in the Serie A, it gives you that stupid replay where it changes angle 14 times. Just can't be bothered. Unless it's a wonder goal, I probably just won't bother watching them. It just takes too long. Just want to get back into the game. And we could get another one here. Over the top for Shamoradov. Oh, it was close, but that is going to be the end of this game. And I think the 3-5-2 was a massive success. Three points plus the draw. Four points out of six. It is not a bad start. We've made some good signings. And now we're going to go into deadline day. We've got an offer for Karsdorp, a player that I just really don't know how good he's going to be for me. I like him, though. His stats are good. My only concern is he's 26. Doesn't leave much room for him to, to grow exponentially, at least. Maybe we can get him to kind of 81, 82 rated. And I think he would be a very well-rounded well player. So I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to block offers. I want to keep him for this season, at least. You know, I, I actually thought about turning off the transfers for this series, the first window. I know some people really like it when career modes start that way. But I think I really wanted to bring in a centre-back. Like I really needed to. So... Um, yeah, I think possibly it would have been just a centre-back, if anything. But uh, obviously bringing in Maitland-Niles was something we kind of talked about before the series even began. Anyway, another bit of training done. Maybe I've done them all now. That would be nice. Uh, Goretzka is the biggest move so far, which you can't see. 109 million. Dembele's gone to Chelsea. Mares to Madrid. Jeez, some of these moves. Alvarez to Man City. Moreno's gone to Man City as well. Interesting. Have I missed out on any absolute bargains? Oh, wow. Man City have gone absolutely ham, haven't they? They've got Isaac as well. Apparently, linked with Arsenal quite heavily at the moment. If that happens, I will be very happy. Man United are just selling players. Luke Shaw, gone. Maguire, gone. Both to the Serie A. Okay. Well, as we've already discussed in this episode, I don't have a crazy amount of money left. I probably can buy an attacking player with this money, but just not the player that I really want. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to be able to do this. Do I want Damsgaard that much? Because I don't actually have an outright left winger in the first team right now because Mkhitaryan covers that position. And if I'm going to 3-5-2, I don't even have a left winger position. Can this guy play as a left wing back? No. <laughs> can he play as a striker? No, it it kind of doesn't doesn't fit. So maybe we go Hojek instead. Oh, this is a tough one. It's going to cost me 30 million. All right, I'm going to go in for one last try here. I think I have to buy him. I'm, I'm not going to loan him. It's, it's just not going to happen. But I will have to include a player. I am tempted. Hmm. Smalling... No, I'm going to need him. Shamorodov, 
26, 73 rated. You know, like my brain is saying that's ridiculous. Like he's not going to really do much for you, but he was quite fun to use. But he's only 4.3. Mm. This is a tough one, guys. I know there's some people in, in the comments from the last episode that they really like Shmorodov. But it is career mode after all. Sometimes you've got to do things that maybe you don't want to do. Okay, so if we're talking central midfielders, which, by the way, if I'm playing three at the back, I'm pretty much only going to be using two center mids. So we've got one, two, three, four. Four really good options with Diavara as well. Maybe Villar. Maybe I could offer him. I don't think I'm going to actually use him that much. Oh, this is a really tricky one. I might try it, and I'm sorry if it upsets anyone, but I, I don't want to treat this career mode like the Arsenal one where everything has to be as realistic as possible. I think I might just do Villar plus money. I think so. Let's try 20 or 17 and a half. They might not even be interested. Let's see what happens. Um... I was not expecting that. Okay, then. Klojek is joining Roma at this rate. A signing that I really want to make. And I've made it happen with relative ease. Just including a player that I probably wasn't going to use much. For example, I'd rather put make the Niles at centre mid instead of Villar. Villar, however you say his name. Um, I'll try and get him on rotation for now because he won't be a starter just yet. Definitely play Zaniolo and Abraham up front ahead of him, maybe. Oh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? I love his face mod, by the way. That is so good. Uh, if you want to get any of the mods yourself, by the way, go to episode one and go in the comment, uh, the description. Sorry, I've listed all of the, the mods there. Um, well, a five-year deal makes sense. He's only 19. Nice. And this would be the last signing. I'm not looking to bring in anyone else. Don't forget, he can play on that left side as well. I was looking for a left-sided player that can play as a striker, so they can do both just as well. I'm going to offer him 30k and 100k up front. Surely that's going to be enough. It is. Maybe overpaying slightly, but we just signed one of my favourite players that I've, look, I've looked to try. Obviously, I was never going to sign him in the Arsenal career mode, but I'm in a new one now with Roma, and I can do it. I can do it, and he's in. I cannot believe that. So that means Mayoral, who is on loan anyway, so he's leaving at the end of this season. I feel like this was the right thing to do, guys. I really do. Shomorodov can still play, but Hlozhek, oh my god. Yeah, that was that was a big signing. I'm I'm... Really happy with that. The question is, should I give him the number 10 shirt? I did look around online. As far as I can tell, they have not retired the number 10 shirt. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could give him 20. I'm going to give him 20. Yeah, I'm going to give him 20. I'm going to leave number 10 free for the moment. But guys, that is a massive signing from the Czech Republic. He's going to be an absolute monster for us. And we will play him in the next game. Are we going to get any other transfer offers coming in? I think we're pretty much done. I don't need to sell anyone at this point. We've still got 5 million left, I think it was. So <clears throat> it's not like we, we don't have any money whatsoever for contracts and things like that. But yeah, we're looking good. Just before we finish, though, is there one last position where I could maybe do with a loan? So I see Maitland Niles as a right wing back slash centre mid. Cristante is good. He can play at centre back as well. Diavara, like him. Perez on that right side. El Shirari on the left. Flojek, a bit of both. We've got a strong bench. Lack of midfielders now with uh, Villar going. Maybe I could look at replacing Reynolds with a central midfielder on loan. That might be a shout, actually. Or I can include Reynolds in a deal. Even if it's a cheap-ish player, just a bit of backup in that central midfield position. I think that's probably worth it, even if it is just a couple of million. So one of the players I could look to loan in, I guess, or maybe purchase. Ooh. So this is Dominguez. I've used him before in the Real Sociedad career mode. Really enjoyed him. And he has been approached by Dynamo Kiev. So maybe we could potentially get him. 
Uh, the other player I was thinking of, he's a Turkish midfielder. I don't know if it'll work if I search him here because he's got... No, he's there. He's got the accents above his name. Um, he's at Rangers. He must have moved already. Oof, this is a tough one. Okay, so the, the positions they'll play in are definitely a bit more of a defensive all-rounder, like a box-to-box. -box. I feel like Dominguez is a little bit better. However, I've used him before. This guy, I don't know how to say his name. I think it might be Kukchu. Kukchu? I'd probably have butchered that, but he's something new. But I do have a feeling he's going to be way more of an attacking player. But if he's next to Veritu, I don't, don't really see that being an issue. So in the position they'll play in, if I play this formation, right in the heart of midfield, you need someone that can do a bit of everything. With two up top, I guess it's even more of a defensive player. So it does make sense to go with Dominguez. But you know what? It doesn't excite me as much as signing this guy. Now, although he's just moved to Rangers, should I just do it anyway? It's because of the, uh, the lenient negotiation settings. I'm able to just sign a player even though he's just moved. I don't think it really matters that much, does it? Okay, do I go for him? I can always just improve his defensive stats. I, I think we do it. We just do it. I've just got, I've got no idea how much to offer. Um, I'll offer, so I'm going to sell Reynolds, the only American in the team, but I, I'm just not going to use him. With Maitland-Niles coming in, no chance. So 800k, should I just throw in, oh God. I'm really kind of going in blind here. 12, 13. I'll go in the middle. 12 and a half million. And... Okay, so we're looking at minimum 20. If they want Mkhitaryan plus 7. Uh, well, first of all, no. Second of all, have a bit more money. 14 and a half. Is that going to be enough? I've got a feeling it might be, but they want a sell-on clause. Yeah. 12%. <sighs> That's fine. Let's do the deal, guys. A last-minute signing. He's just gone to Rangers, the poor guy, but I want him. I'm stealing him. I think he'll be a good player for us. He, he can defensively improve, and uh, he'll already be very good. I think he's got uh, some really good specialist traits. I think maybe he could be on free kicks as well. Is that... Is that the right player I'm thinking of? Really good at free kicks. Uh, we'll go with rotation as well. And that's fine. His face mod is incredible, by the way. Love it. Five-year deal. Nice. We're just signing some really great young players here, guys. It's going to massively improve the team for the future. Uh, in terms of a wage, I guess, 25. Maybe that'll be enough. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've balls that one up, haven't I? 75 rated, for example, Perez. He's on 52. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I went in a bit cheap here. If I pay him 25, that puts him... Yeah. Okay, I messed up there. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So I guess either we wait and go back in for him in January or we get Dominguez now. I think we wait. We wait. It's fine. It's not meant to be yet, okay? Maybe he would have turned out to be rubbish. So we'll scout him further. And uh, for now, we are done in this transfer window. We will end with almost a billion spent. There you go. It's getting closer. Another two hours to go. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, of course. Um, I can't go back in for him at all. It's not going to come off cool down or whatever you want to call that. Um, nah, we keep Diavara then, especially if we can't sign the player we actually want. So good try, Leicester, waiting till the last two hours, but we're not doing that. And that is the transfer window finished. One billion has been spent and we will wait until January to potentially bring in a midfielder. I think we just got his scout report. So let's take a look at that as we complete training. Come on, then, Give me the bad news. What rating is he? 76. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, his defending isn't bad. They're both 76 rated. Dominguez is, I mean, considerably better at defensive 
stuff. Oh, he's kind of better in everything, isn't he? It's just the passing and the mentality. Okay, well, at least we know now. He's on 43k. So it probably would have been fine with Dominguez to offer 25. He, he took 16.5 to go to uh, Dynamo Kiev. But, um, well, it gives you guys another chance to get your comments on Discord and in the comments of this video. Is there another central midfielder I should look at? But quite honestly, I'm still interested in signing Kirkchu. Kirk Kirkchu. Into the next game. And it is time to give the new man his debut. Klojek. Let's go two up top. We will go with the 3-5-2 again. Spinozola on the left. I actually think I'm going to drop Mkhitaryan for this game. Because everyone else has been playing really well. I think Zaniolo should definitely be starting. And Mkhitaryan isn't really the future. He's the now, isn't he? I think I'm going to go Abraham on the right. Hlozhek on the left. All right. It's, it's going to be interesting. I don't exactly have the paciest front three. But they're all six foot three plus. Wait, it's Logic six two. Okay, so they're six foot two, six foot five. No, six foot three. Sorry, and Zaniolo six foot three as well. So giants up top. We need to be whipping in those crosses. Oh, that's a nice pass. Onto the left side now. Oh, look at the overlap. Spinazzola. Oi, is that not a foul? Oh, if only Logic could have picked that up. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm useless at pronouncing player names. I really am. That's a hell of a pass. Wow. Can I get that? Nice Mancini. I've been super impressed with him. You can tell he was a CDM converted to center back. He's really good on the ball. That was not a good pass from Abraham, though. Just don't let them shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, what a save, Patricio. He's also made a very good start. He's a great goalkeeper. I think 82 rated is a joke. He's way better than that. He really is. Please win that. Oh, no. Get it out. Actually, hang on. We can play this out. Here we go. Klojek. Through for Zaniolo. Oh, it's beautiful football, guys. It is liquid football. Zaniolo could score his first goal. He does. 1-0 to the good. And kind of against the run of play, to be honest. Elas Veronia have been all over me. There he is, Mancini again. He is absolutely superb. And Klojek, with his layoffs, has been brilliant as well. Spinozola's in. Both my wing-backs are forward. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love this team. I, I know it's, it's sad that Fiorentina didn't work out, but I'm glad it didn't because this team is fun. My wing-backs were my furthest player for players forward there that's hilarious Spinazzola over to Karsdorp and it is 2-0 already I'm sure you've all been there you've made a career mode and straight away just didn't feel like it felt right it felt a bit alien to you you didn't didn't feel like you were just kind of part of the team I don't know how to explain it I can't get away with that in a in a series you would know instantly within a few episodes that I was dreading playing with the team or just the thought of you know, sitting down and, and recording episodes. I just wouldn't have been enjoying it. So I had to, guys. And it's for the good because I'm really enjoying this. What a ball that is. Mancini off the post. He deserves a goal. He has been superb in this game so far. Here is Karsdorp. Inside. No, that was the wrong pass, Matt. No matter who I pass to, I feel like I can do something. I love that. Here is Spinozola. Let's it run. Onto his right foot. The cross comes in for Klojek. It's not ideal. His first shot in a Roma shirt. Should we have a look at that again? Do we want to see this? Oh, dear. Not a good look. Maybe I could have controlled that. I don't know. But you know what I mean? When you've got a team where you're full of confidence, no matter who you pass it to, you feel like you can take on a player, you can shoot, you can... Well, can I shoot? Did you see that last one? But yeah, I just feel like... Every player fits well in the team. We're off to a really good start with this career mode. Shame we didn't win our first game. Oh, no. Oh, my. And the clean sheet's gone. Have I jinxed it? I really hope not. But they are back in the game now. We are going to have to find a second goal. A third goal, I think. The two goal cushion is gone. I'm going to do something maybe a little bit weird. 
I'm going to put El Shirari on and just move up to left wing. So that means Inacio and Veritu are going to have their work cut out, aren't they, down that left side. I'm also going to put Maitland-Niles on at centre mid. I'm going to take off Spinazzola. Uh, not Spinazzola, Pellegrini, sorry. Just try it out, really. I think that's why I wanted Maitland-Niles. It's not just because I didn't get to use him much in the Arsenal career mode, but because he can play anywhere. I, I could put him on at centre-back if I really needed to. Here he is now. I mean, is that not a foul? If they score from this, jeez, I would have been a little bit upset. Mkhitaryan into Tammy. Kwasek on the left side. And look who it is. It is El Shirare. Can he make it 3-1? Finesse it. No! I, I, I stopped sprinting to then shoot. Oh, again. Space for El Shirare. Onto his right foot. Goes around one. Over to Mikatarian now. Ooh, that's a naughty challenge. Definitely took player and ball. Now what do I do? Do I shoot this? Or... No, I'm going to roll it. And bang! Oh! Pfft, off the post. So close to being 4-1. We've got it back again. Here's Tammy. I think that probably would have been offside. I'm not sure why I tried to slip Lojek in there. Um, we've conceded another one, and it's not its not ideal. I actually lost the ball there with Maitland-Niles. I tried to take on a man, and it just didn't work. Okay. That's all right. We're still winning. God, I'm glad we got that third goal now. Told you I'd need it. Got five minutes until the end of the game here, so let's just try and hold on. That's just cheeky. I've hit the post. <laughs> How many times has the post or bar been hit in this game by both teams? At least a few times each. Really should have scored there. Oh, no, oh, if only that fell for Lojek. He deserves a goal in this game. He's actually been very good. That was a good debut from Lojek. 3-2, five-goal thriller. What a way to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, if you're enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, you can become a member of MGH United by clicking that join button on the channel. You can do it on your phone as well. It costs $4.99 a month. It supports the channel. You get some cool Discord perks. And when I start streaming very soon, you can be a part of the supporter-only chat. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon.